this is me and welcome to my class in this video i am going to show you how to create four different types of bottomware uh, that includes pencil skirt um pleated skirt pants and shorts now i am very sorry for my voice because i've been recording and i think my voice is kind of husky right now so yes, I'm also going to use Maya 2022 and I'm filming this live so I am very sorry for my grammatical errors and stutters. So without further ado, let's get started meow! Okay, so of course, the usual, we are going to import the 3D mask onto our workspace and then the first uh, thing more like the first model that we are going to do first item i mean is the pencil skirt now that is very easy all you need to do is wait let me duplicate this first four times let me rename it into a uh, pencil skirt this one to pleated skirt this one to shorts and this one to pants so i could demonstrate each all right let's hide this first by clicking ctrl h and then let's now go ahead and create the pencil skirt now we are going to create a high-waisted one all we need to do is go to the face mode face selection mode and delete this part because we we'll want it to be high-waisted oh wait there you go delete the top part delete this and of course you have to delete um wherever you want to delete like how long would you like it to be but of course it's a high-waisted skirt so i prefer it to be a little bit short so like on the medium to short length so i'm going to select this delete this one and delete 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 now we got shorts right here actually this is the same procedure as how you make shorts but let me show you that for later let's delete this part first now let's delete this this so how do i select that just click while holding shift down double click the other part oops this one oops how about this one okay now that works all right delete that and then for the butt area delete this up to here okay delete this up to here and then delete this part right here okay now it's all empty the next thing you'll do is select the edges like this and do this then click bridge and do that to the other part i mean the front part of bridge and then use the knife tool to match the lines right here just click control and then bam 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 and do it on the other side as well like like this and then q and then let us now proceed with the binding uh we'll use this one the target one and let's do it in the wireframe mode click f9 and don't forget that the direction you should go is from here to here so outward so this to this this to this this to this jump. Be, be sure that you are connecting the right vertices okay okay for this one yeah we'll have to go Uh, 
if you are a beginner, this is kind of overwhelming because, like, you know, too many lines. <laughs> so, we are having this issue right here. All we need to do is click F11, select these parts. Okay, let me just manually select it. Then move it outward. Oops. Just for a bit. Okay, now that's good. Now, let's resize the butt before we do anything else. display and then soften edge now if i deselect it as you can see it's very smooth with a big past <laughs> now the next thing you'll do is click this uh, Control e that means extrude and then point three now that is a high waist skirt pencil skirt Let's now move on to the next one. Of course, don't forget to add shorts. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next one. Oh, wait. Uh, you can add more details onto this, like zippers and such. You can add creases. But for this one, let us just, you know, settle with this. Okay. Now, our next one is a pleated skirt. Uh, shift H. Pleated skirt is kind of complicated, but we can do it. Uh, just use the cylinder R to resize it. Uh, push it up. Delete the excess part. Down. Okay, now wireframe mode. Determine the length. Like this. And then. Now we'll have to add more uh, lines here, but I don't think we could. I don't want to manually do it. So let's see if we could add. I don't know. Okay, let's just delete this part. F11, delete this, and delete the excess once again. Okay, now we got that. It's not different from earlier. Now the very important thing to do here is to be on edge always. So do that. Move it a little backward and then pull it right here. Put this one right here. Okay. And then of course do the next one. This is like an open wide skirt thingy. Okay. The more um check all that. The more lines you have, the more beneficial it will be. Okay. Let me focus for a bit. like the school girl's pleated skirt <laughs> okay of course you can create a more detailed one rather than this this is like hmm, a preview a preview quality just to show you how it's made okay you are almost done but you get the point. Okay. Done. Now all you need to do is 
um, resize the top part. Okay, for a bit. Okay. B, and then resize it. Oopsies. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, let's just move it around. this bottom part okay sorry sorry I'll resize this bottom part make it a little bit calm let's resize the top part more let's make it sexy okay. since we already have the measurements kind of let's just tie this mask because it it hinders for my modeling. Okay. Jump. Okay, now next thing we'll do is um make this more prominent. So not like that. Not like that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try adding forgot what that tool oh crease tool yeah crease okay mesh tools and then crease tool i'm curious of what it looks like when it's high poly high poly means high poly count which is another term for smoothing it looks better now that's the most simplest pleated skirt of course you can add more pleats mm, all you need to do is select this and then move it the usual and then this one move it out like this and then maybe rotate this kind of like this and look you've got a new pleat right there if you continue it that way, you'll be able to have a complete pleated skirt with um, thinner pleats. Okay, let me demonstrate it again. Basically it. 
just extrude this into point 4 and you are good to go that's it if you would want to add let's use symmetry if you would want to add like details oh i can't like this um just use f11 resize it and when we deselect oh wait hardened edge first just display hardened edge deselect it done it's got that um bent thingy <laughs> Okay, so creating pants is all the, also the same. Let's delete that. Show the pants. So for the pants one, let's make it high waisted again. It's all the same procedure actually. So we'll delete this. Um, symmetry on. Resize this part so that it won't overlap with the skin. Add an extra line here. Uh, F9 and then close it. Add another line. And then that's good already. That's basically how you create pants. Making bottom wears are the most easiest thing when it comes to modeling, but texturing is a bit difficult with bottom wears. So yeah, okay, we cinch the waist, and that's how you create pants. Of course, you can make the hips larger. Wait, let me demonstrate. Make the hips larger, or maybe create some wide angled pants like this it's up to you but that is how that is how easy it is after you modify it don't forget to extrude it point 4 i just like point 4 but you can change it to any type you want and just delete the inner part because it will only add up to your poly count so you don't need that and you're done you're done that's how you create pants mm, i don't think we should race the past <laughs> anyways that's it for how to create bottom wears so yes as always thank you so much for watching and bye bye